Blessed afternoon, collective. How is it going? How are you feeling in this energy? I decided to pull another reading today. Uh, I want to keep pulling on this present energy because it's delicious, it's fiery, it's passionate, it's forward motion, it's emotional, and I want to pull on what's outside the soulmate cycle because it feels good, because that feels interesting to me. Yeah, I know what's going on in general with masculine and feminine energy and how that relates to the soulmate cycle and the general balancing of energies overall. Talked about that this morning, but there's more than that happening. <laughs> That's taking care of itself. That's all playing out exactly as it should. I want to know what's going on otherwise. What else is coming in? What is not a part of that soulmate existing cycle what's entering what's uh new what's fresh what's coming into the arena what is coming towards us because it is a lot of new i'm, I'm just jumping straight into it because i'm curious and it feels good it feels delicious it feels sexy i gotta say it's a sexy energy uh it's confident it's free it's uncompromised and uncompromising. It's clear. It's deliberate. It knows what it wants. It's not worried about anything. Feels pretty good. It's time for some new adventures, new experiences, new stuff in general. Yeah, it's confident. <laughs> Knight of Wands underneath the Page of Wands. It, it's charging in, coming to claim this bold, open, emotionally, emotionally expressive, just coming in hot, coming in out of nowhere, bursting forth, charging into the fray, unafraid, mm, maybe a little obsessive, yeah, because it wants to give, it feels on a deep level, this is the, it's just more heat, it's more heat and it is a little bit of obsession energy, but with the Queen of Cups underneath, it's just like you lock eyes with someone across the room and it's on. It's that type of feeling. It's that sense of just love at first sight, a little bit deeper than that, uh, a very visceral attraction. I mean, there's a lot of wand energy here as well. But it's soul-based. Yeah, it's soul-based. It's an angelic card. This is This is not a devilish devil. It's just a horny devil, okay? It's just a very focused devil, that kind of thing. But it's it's coming from the soul. It's a soul-driven desire. Just no fear. Absolutely no fear. Single-minded focus. You set your eyes on it, and that's it. It's on. You move towards it. It's that kind of energy. I'm pulling on incoming here. Um, what's on top? Nine of Cups feels good feels good man feels pretty fucking delicious yeah it sees happiness and it's moving towards it this applies on all levels this is just the general energy i am sort of focused on incoming but it encompasses everything it's just charging towards the happiness fearlessly seeing it and taking action moving towards it bold confident. I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's James Bond at a party. Just chatting up the Bond girl, you know, the one, the Bond girl in the movie, because it's a Bond movie and there's got to be a Bond girl. And it's the one in that movie, whichever one it is, for whatever reason. The only one I can remember is Pussy Galore. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll take that. <laughs> but let's talk about it. Why? What? Yeah, what's this? Stuff coming in? What's the general why? Because it feels good. It feels hot. It feels focused. Two of Wands. It's coming in. The intention is set. It's just it's a magnetic attraction drawn together and there's a charge happening here. It's just a spark. It's it's a completion of a circuit. It's like making eye contact and that completes some sort of circuit. And now there is energy passing between you and someone. Something like, ah, I don't want still underneath. Just going for it. No hesitation here. 
the realization happens, the realization of the desire of what is wanted. In that moment, the intention is set to move towards it. And in the very next instant, we move towards it. That's it. No contemplation, no deliberation, no planning. Just make it happen. Jesus Christ, yeah. Empress. You see the Empress and you go, I want a piece of that. That is, that is Empress energy. Everybody wants a piece of Empress energy. It is irresistible. <sighs> Simply irresistible. I don't know who sings that song, but I'm getting it in my head. And those are the only words I, I know. That simply irresistible. I think that's it. Uh, what's underneath that? Oh, anxiety. Oh, this is this is the runner energy. Is feeling. I, it, there's multiple levels. <coughs> On one level, it, it is just if there is any anxiety, it's short lived and it's an opportunity to overcome it, to just move past it anyway. In another level, this is a part of lessons taught to they're creeping in because that energy is all around it feels this new incoming energy that sees the empress knows her value knows this is this is a hot tree it's a hot it's a warm energy but it's very hot here knows that other people are coming towards this it feels that and goes oh my god uh i never took action on that I'm not interested in that. I'm washing that out as much as I can. Let's let's keep pulling. In that other level, again, it is just an opportunity to release anxiety and to see, to see, yeah, you're fucking hot. Yeah, you're attractive. Yeah, people want to hit that. And own that confidence. Nothing to worry about here really just up in your own energy but i'm pulling on incoming so what's incoming that's outside of the soulmate cycle i do not want the runner energy everything else tell me about everything else okay two cards flip as soon as i said that queen of wands what do we have at the bottom nine of wands. there's a barrier being removed this has come up a couple of times yeah because there's just uh the open flow within the self is putting that energy out and it's drawing a lot in. It's drawing in. The more open and expressive you are within yourself, the more you are attracting that energy. You're attracting on the same level, like energy attracts. There's a refreshing happening and it's just exuding. It's exuding this openness, this approachability where perhaps there wasn't approachability before. Yeah, where perhaps there was an approachability before where there might have been some hesitation in energies approaching, that is being transformed. Because they see clearly. Oh, yeah, I see clearly. No, this looks good. This looks like the real deal. This is solid. What fell out? I got three cards that fell out, so that's our top three cards because... That's how they arranged themselves. Okay, that's what it is. Uh, Queen of Wands, attraction. It's just attraction. There is a little bit of that the wall is coming down again, and that's inviting stuff in, stuff that's been held back, stuff that might not have approached before, but now it's approaching because of the transformation that is taking place because of the lowering of this wall. It's happening. It's happening environmentally, but it's also being, it's being experienced within. I don't know how to, mm, this is a challenge to interpret. <sighs> Something is being removed. It, it has to do with the sacral chakra healing that has taken place, especially as a result of what's been experienced during the soulmate cycle. But we're in this new level, we're in this new energy where things are different. What, what had been held back before is no longer held back. Where there was a pause, there was a block on certain things, it's just not anymore. Yeah, the deck just split. 
there's a raising of confidence. Yes, in one level it has to do with a, a, a releasing of the runner energy. There's more stuff coming in. That had been a big drain. But it has more to do with confidence. The rising of confidence in the self. Again, just owning yourself, owning your energy, flowing openly within you. Loving yourself, that exudes that loving energy. When you love yourself, external energies experience that as attraction to you. They feel that love. They feel love. When you see yourself, you embrace yourself, you embody your authentic self, you see others in that same way. When you are engaged in presence and you are seeing yourself as presence, you are seeing others as presence, as divine, as the divine self that they are, as their true authentic self, that feels good. It's very attractive. Third card out was death. It's just, it's a complete reboot, a complete transformation. All new stuff coming in. A wipeout of any wall that was up, any blockage being removed. And stuff that had been slow, slowly making its way in on the outskirts is now free to come in quite quickly quite certainly and it is it's it it is focused it sees it sees the empress energy <coughs> excuse me and it's coming straight towards it <coughs> excuse me uh yeah just uh, no no doubt no hesitation very clear decision made easily discerned the Queen of Swords does not hesitate. <laughs> she does not hesitate, bitch. <laughs> she won't stop and think about it. Snap decision. She knows. She knows what she wants. She knows what she likes. So does the Empress. That is the discerning aspect of the Empress. We have the attractive aspect and the discerning aspect here. Again, put the Empress in a room with however many people. She will tell you within maybe an hour, which one of those people she's interested in. Which one? That's it. The rest of them can go home. Discernment. It's just... Snap decision. The world. Yeah, it's a whole new level of stuff coming in. Stuff that's been held back. Stuff that could not reach us until we reached this point. In the cycle in the raising of our vibration. Stuff that had been held back. I just keep feeling that. But now it's... it. I mean, it, it was like holding back a hunting dog. One that is trained. Trained to see a, a bird fall and focus on that spot. And it looks at nothing else. And it goes straight to that spot. And it's just, it's just waiting until the moment the command is given or the, the leash is let go of and it goes <laughs> to that spot and does whatever it does. It points or it lays down, you know, all the things they're trying to do. But it's, it is absolute focus. Uh, it's very interesting, very interesting. Determined, not gonna give up. Not going to mince words. Not going to leave any confusion as to the way it feels. And this can be, well, okay. I was going to say that it's a lot of long term. It can be romantic and it can be a lot of other things. It can be opportunities to pursue a new career path. It can be friendships. It can be really anything. Soul connections. Um... But it's long-lasting, it's long-term, and it's very stable. It's that which sees the same in you. It sees your value. It has something of value to provide. It sees the happy marriage of these two things. We benefit one another mutually. It is that mutually beneficial reciprocation, the equivalent reciprocation. What's underneath that? The Empress. Yeah, sees the potential of the Empress. Sees the long-term of the Empress. Wants a piece of this sees the stability. This is great. Yes, this would be great. No question. No question. One look. 
at the Empress Energy, and this, it knows. This has tremendous potential for long-term mutual benefit, joy, and stability, satisfaction. And it just, it just comes forward, wants to work with this. Yeah, makes this offer. No hesitation. <laughs> Again, no hesitation. Knight of Wands charging straight ahead. Just forward. Six of Cups feels deeply for this. There is the feeling of recognition. That eye contact. You have soul recognition with someone through eye contact. That's how it works. And it is that feeling of locking eyes and all of that recognition taking place, all of the familiarity, just this knowing that washes over you. You are familiar to me. We click. <laughs> We don't even have to exchange words. We just exchanged energy and our energy is compatible. And I have no question about that. So let me, let me introduce myself. Let me get this thing rolling because I have no qualms. I have no concerns about this. This is good. <laughs> there is something here that's meant to be. So tell me about the Queen of Wands, this powerful attraction. Wheel of Fortune just tried to jump out. Yeah, it's a big change. It's It's been a long time coming, but this is a tremendous change. The energy is shifting dramatically right now. It's escalating. It's all, well, it's not all, but it is a lot to do with the North Node, <laughs> North Node moving into Aries. It's just taking off. We're kicking it into a higher gear. We're skipping gears. I mean, we, we hit the NOS on this. Whoa, okay. Dropping the cards. <sighs> Dropping the cards. What falls out? First of all, first of all, why is the Queen of Wands here? This incredibly potent attraction. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> it's incredibly potent attraction. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands is red <sighs> with death, essentially. I mean... It's red with death. <laughs> Queen of Wands and death. Yes, because there, because of this transformation. Because something has shifted that is revealing the truth of your energy. Of the feminine's energy. I, I'm sort of pulling on essentially what's incoming towards myself, towards Divine Feminine. Not everyone here is Divine Feminine. There are some masculines who are on this side of it. it. Doesn't matter. It's just the receiving end. We're not talking about the runner energy. We're not talking about the soulmate cycle. We're talking about what's coming towards the viewer. Most of the viewers here are in the same position as myself, resonating with my energy, which is resonating as either Divine Feminine or Chaser in some aspect, healing that and, and moving into a new phase realizing the attractiveness owning the attractiveness that is being just reflected out energetically uh and, and it makes one's energy feel very healing very appealing it, it is approachable again it just you got something that they want it, it, it's that kind of feeling of i see you and i like i like what i see And again, just not mincing words here. Absolutely direct. No, no games, no confusion. Yeah, I like what I see. God dang, that is, is extremely attractive energy. Nine of Pentacles underneath the Queen of Wands. That just feels good. That feels nice. That's like you walked into a luxury cruise ship haul that you didn't even know that's where you were you just opened the doors and it's a massive spread it's a buffet of all these fine foods there are personal chefs there's a bunch of gorgeous people whatever you know half naked of your whatever gender you prefer or both <laughs> it's just uh it's nice having a good time looks like a good time I think I'd like a piece of that, please. That's the feeling. So tell me about this Knight of Pentacles here. 
Like I'm gonna spin it my way. That's just what it is. This is the way that I feel it. I had a conversation with, <laughs> I'm now in a band, so to speak, sort of. It's, it's a local Celtic band. They have fun, I'm there to have fun. But the apparent goal for the next concert is to get Ally laid. That was not my decision. That was their decision entirely. So that's reflecting. That's just, you know, and I feel that a lot of my divine feminines, fellow <laughs> individuals experiencing this side of the soulmate cycle are in that same boat of, yeah, you know what? For runner who, I just want to, I just want to live life. I want to get out and experience the world of form because it's here to experience, not to be attached to it, but not to be afraid of it. We are here for joy. That is our purpose. It is. The foundation of our existence is freedom. The result is growth. The purpose is joy. Not to take this shit so serious. We're here to have a good time. There's good times rolling in. Is the way I feel it. Les le bon temps roule, don't they say in Nolens, where my brother lives. Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Because he's bringing this pentacle. It's been a long, long time. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> the patience pays off. And really, it, it has more to do with just learning to love yourself. Learning that lesson. Learning to be your own best friend. Learning about your own stability. Your own ability to generate good feeling and experience it within any given moment. That's exuding, that's drawing this in. Something that's been out there for a long time trying to come in, wanting to work with this, is making its way in now under this energy. There's no time in the energy. I cannot predict timelines, but the energy for this is present. It's not on the outskirts. It's not making its way in, it's here. It's here right now. Five of Wands, mm. hang on, Ace of Cups, yeah, there is no nonsense here, it's no nonsense, I do not feel that as actual resistance, it, it's, an, it's just a no nonsense energy, it is let me deliver this cup, let me, I have something to say, I have something to offer, I'm not beating around the bush, I'm not playing games, I am bringing this in. It is no nonsense, <laughs> if ever that could be described in cards. That is the way I feel it. What else is underneath this? Yeah, Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I like what I see. I see victory in this. I see stability in this. I'm coming towards it. No ifs, ands, or buts. No questions. No nonsense. That's in the 3D. Very open, very emotionally stable, and wanting to share that, wanting to express that. That's just it. I have a cup. I know it's a good cup. I see your cup also is good. I would like to share. That's it. It's a very frank <laughs> expression. Uh, yeah. Direct. Straightforward. I got nothing else to say about that. It's it's cut and dry. <laughs> it's what it is. It's no-nonsense energy. Tell me about death. What is, uh, what's death about? Tell me about death. Okay. That's it. Queen of Swords. Leading directly into Queen of Swords. It's underneath that. Ace of Wands. Truths recognized within the self bringing about this transformation and enabling this one to stay lit. Enabling the new beginnings to happen. Embracing that self-reflection. Embracing the Queen of Swords aspect turns up the Queen of Wands side. There's just, there's a truthfulness emanating and, and more of that no-nonsense. It, it is a pairing, too, of that I see you are not playing around. 
I like your authenticity. I like your no bullshit attitude. Let me bring that to the table. That's how I operate as well. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. This is, uh, it's been coming in. It's been making its way. These seeds were planted a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Now is their time to emerge. And that's how it works. There are some seeds, if you're growing an apple tree, for example, it takes a long time for that tree to produce fruit. You can plant that seed, if you're growing it from a seed especially, it takes a long time for that seed to sprout. It spends a long time under the earth, totally invisible. You don't even know what's happening down there. Then it sends up this tiny little shoot, right? And that little tiny shoot becomes a little sapling. And then that sapling grows and grows and it grows into a tree. And then that tree is just there for a number of years before it actually reaches maturity and bears fruit. It takes a long time, a long time for this fruit to be born, but it's here. It's here and the deck is splitting and it's splitting on the page of cups. This new love, this emotional satisfaction, this emotional fulfillment, it's coming around. It's coming in. It may have come around before, but it wasn't ready before. It, we weren't ready before. It wasn't a matchup before. Now, the tracks are aligned. It was two ships passing in the night previously. Now those ships are on a crash course. <laughs> That's what this feels like. What else? Karma. Judgment. Yeah. It couldn't have happened until now. The universe had to align things. We had to work things out within ourselves first. We had to go through this process, have this healing, have this experience in the soulmate cycle. Ha learn how to love ourselves, learn how to flow for ourselves, learn how to focus on our own energy, our own relationship, our own internal union, understanding that that's where happiness comes from. That's where joy and peace and satisfaction come from. Understanding that we're good we're good and we're not here to bullshit. We're done with the karma. We're moving into a new phase. Temperance. Yeah, this is balanced, resolved. There has been a resolution in the soul and in the external energy that is acknowledged. Now we've reached this resolve. It's like we can move on to the next part of the song we were repeating this this one page of music this one refrain because we never quite reached the resolve of it because of the work done in the soul on the self we we did it we released that final component it's being removed energetically now that we've reached that resolve and balanced that last piece of energy we're on a new page we're on a fresh page of music we're in the second motion, you know, whatever it is, we're, we're in the next part of this symphony, of this whatever it is. <sighs> the open flow within the self is key. There's, it's also just, it's right now. Now is the time. There's an influx of this energy that's helping all of this take place. It's helping those last vestiges of imbalanced energy be released, be brought to balance, helping us release those pieces of the past self that we had been clinging to, helping us become more present, which is really all it ever takes, just returning to presence again and again and again and again and again. But this transformation has happened. It, it has occurred. And because of that, we are attracting on a whole new level. The stuff that had been held back, the stuff that had been making its way in, that had been out there in orbit, coming towards us for a long time, potentially even lifetimes, is now here because we are now a match to it. 
We are now ready. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Has a lot to do with why we are now ready. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, now it can come in. just came back. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. <sighs> because of the willingness to look at ourselves honestly and truthfully, we are now reflecting that energy outwardly and seeing others honestly, truthfully. That's felt. There's just, it's unlocked something. Something that was held back is now able to come in and is being drawn in, is being attracted in. Six of Cups, it's just repeating. It is... It's not just been out there a long time. It's old. It's a deep connection. It is a past, past, past life sort of connection. In certain cases, it can be someone or something that actually is from the past in this incarnation coming back around, from childhood, from a distant past. It feels way deeper than that. This is just, it's the thing from lifetimes ago that we weren't ready in that lifetime. And we've spent several lifetimes working up to this point. And now we're here. Now we're here again, that energy of ships passing in the night, and they've been passing each other and passing and passing for a long time without even knowing it, but sensing, sensing the proximity. And now the path is clear. Now the connection, the circuit is being completed. We can actually make this connection in this lifetime. Knight of Cups, yeah, it, and it's happened. Now this can come in. And it is coming in, and it's coming in steadfastly. There is a swiftness, but more than that, it's a, it's a determination, it's a focus, it is no nonsense. This is a noble knight, right? A gallant knight means business, means business, not just trying to get in your pants, not blowing smoke up your dress, you know, not king of wands energy, not Burger King, noble, true, gives the full cup, gives the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups that is flowing, that is being delivered by the Knight of Pentacles, another very reliable knight, a serious knight, means business. Again, just more of that, no nonsense, because of the no nonsense energy that is around us and that we are feeling within, that is, it's being pulled in powerfully. Powerfully. Ah. And it's mutually healing as well. There is it's healing for both sides. That sort of sense of meeting someone like me. Someone who sees the way that I see, or who just there's a sharing, there's some sort of sharing of truth where things click very quickly, very easily. It just works, it just makes sense. Okay, I just had a couple cards jump out. Um, I am reminded in saying that of having soul recognition with the first person I had a true soul recognition with, which was my therapist. And before even meeting her, we had just spoken over the phone and she had asked me to feel her energy and describe it. And I said, without thinking, without even questioning it, it feels like home. Feels like home to me. Familiar, warm, safe. And when we did meet in person and had eye contact, the first thing she said to me was, seeing you now, you make perfect sense. And I said the same, because I felt the same. It is that feeling of you just, 
you make eye contact, you have soul recognition, and your souls know one another. And it just makes sense. Whatever this is, it I feel it is likely more than one thing. There is a specific thing. But it's it's generally the energy coming in because we are on this new level now. It just makes sense. It's a deep connection, and it, it's a profoundly... understandable it's a, it's logical to the soul the soul gets it it completely bypasses the brain it has nothing to do with the brain a lot of that being possible likely has to do with the work we have been doing on presence and on detaching from the mechanisms of ego and the brain understanding that's not us that's not a thing we need to follow or listen to we can simply observe it listening more to the soul and the soul is speaking loudly here and it's speaking loudly for both parties so why is the world here the magician transformation karma being released just the release of karma we're at a new level that's that's really what i get <laughs> and the two cards that jumped out seven of swords and the tower no bullshit happens very quickly. It's just... It's so sudden. It is very sudden. It's a serendipitous type of thing. But you just, you know, instantaneously, there is no confusion. If there is any confusion, it will be wiped away. It will, if there is any question, it will be cleared up immediately by this energy coming in. Let me make myself abundantly clear, is what this energy is saying. I have a cup to give. I am not here to bullshit you. Yes, this is the real deal. No, I am not messing around. May move very quickly. Um, again, it doesn't have to be a romantic energy, but that is included. Yeah, it just... It wants to give. It sees mutual benefit here. It sees equivalency, mutual manifestation as well. It is that feeling of having just recently listened to some Abraham Hicks of you are in my vibrational escrow and I am in yours. And this just works. It just makes sense. And therefore it moves very quickly because of that. It is that mutual manifestation energy. <coughs> And we couldn't have reached this point without being emotionally open. There, there's, I mean, there it is, the star under the King of Cups. Equal give and take. Not, not stingy in this case, controlled, measured, balanced. No bullshit. Mutually manifested, destined, coming in, there, we, there it is, divine justice. I was... I didn't say anything. Doesn't matter. I could feel this energy. <sighs> that energy of when I have surrendered to divine justice and asked for it for myself and submitted myself to be a component of it, then I am free for the universe to use as a cooperative component to another who has similarly surrendered themselves. And now it has selection amongst these components to see these are the most compatible energies. They have surrendered equivalent things. They have balanced. They are asking for equivalent things. My bringing together of these two energies, each of which has asked for justice, is the deliverance of divine justice for all parties. It's a it's a win-win-win. <laughs> right? You win, they win, the universe wins. All of this energy comes to balance. If I have asked for justice and you have asked for justice and the universe sees both of us asking for this thing and deems us like energies, the most like, the most cooperative components, then it can deliver justice for both parties by delivering us to one another. It's that energy. That is what I feel. And I felt like pulling in one more. And just to emphasize 
this tower, it, it is coming in hot. And it's swift and it, it's direct. Again, deliberate. One message. It's, <laughs> it's no frills. It is not messing around. Uh, I mean, does Judge Judy mess around? when she does any judge, and it doesn't matter. Maybe Judge Judy's not the best example. Does a judge mess around when they're delivering the verdict? You know, are they trying to keep people in suspense? Are they being obtuse with their wording and making people guess? No, they state it, guilty, not guilty. That's it, it's very clear. Again, no frills, no games, no nonsense here to deliver this cuff to deliver this message, this emotional expression. That's it, and it's coming. So let's wrap it up then. Final three cards, anything else you wanna say, universe? What else do you wanna say? I got nothing else to say. I'm just, other than it's been a long time coming and it's here. It's been a long time coming and it's here. I was feeling this temperance card, which is next to judgment over here. It's perfect. It's been a long time coming. It's been held back until we could reach this level. We're on this level, now it's here to give. Yeah, now it's here, bursting through. And there, the deck just split. I can't make this up, the deck just split. I was talking about judgment and temperance and feeling the temperance card. And there's the temperance card. <laughs> judgment and temperance are the incredibly powerful energies influencing this it's just you pass judgment you pass judgment you're surrounded by angelic energy it's it's healing it's balanced it's attracting in a new way it is bringing in these connections that had been held back page of pentacles justice again judgment crossing justice i mean that's <laughs> you know the dastardly Dan and the the mutt laugh here. It's everything I said about justice. The lessons have been learned; they are being applied. We are surrendering to justice because of that. Something is emerging, something new, something totally different, something that was held back but is not anymore yeah something that was held back something that was hidden it's been under the surface for a long time now it's emerging a lot of that having to do with our facing of ourselves our facing of fears our facing of emotions <sighs> choosing to do that sets that energy free brings these things to balance the universe rewards that with more balance. That's all it's trying to do, right? It's balance energy. When you help the universe balance energy, you are working with the universe. You are becoming a cooperative component to the universe. And it starts to use you in that way because you have surrendered yourself to it. You have shown yourself that you want to participate. You want to cooperate. You do that by continuously engaging in presence, surrendering the free will and the ego guided will to the divine will and asking spirit to flow through you. Essentially spirit is, is you. You're asking spirit to flow through this physical form into this world deliberately. It's happening. It's, it's enabled something. It has unlocked something, this new level it's just, oh, it's, it's so big. I mean, this is some high dimensional stuff and it's a challenge to interpret because it's deeply spiritual. 
it is deeply spiritual but it, it it's it's a gift is the best way I can put it I don't like using that terminology so much it's always been a part of the plan again but we had to reach this level and we have and now that we're here we've we've unlocked the achievement you know it's just <laughs> reached level 75 achievement unlocked here's your reward it's just that kind of energy it's deserved i can feel the ego within me that's debating that that unworthiness and i'm seeing it and witnessing it as this is happening I want to pull one more card. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. I want to pull one more card. 